Yeah, what's up, guys? Um, we actually be touching some short, short questions that you might be asking of Viva exams, right? You know, uh, most people in the medical school they end up doing some oral exam test, okay? So those are the questions that will be going on, okay? And the first question we'll be treating is the second upper molar tooth. I think um the second upper molar tooth will be talking about the structure that opens near the second upper molar tooth, okay? So, um, what is the structure that opens near the second upper molar tooth, okay? Um, this is what uh, the second, second upper molar tooth, yeah, yeah, second upper molar tooth, all right? And we are now talking about the structure that opens beside the second upper molar tooth. So now let's, first of all, let's talk about what is the second upper molar tooth. The second upper molar tooth is located posterior to the first molar tooth, okay? It's second, so it definitely is at the back of the first, okay? So it is one of the 12 molars in adult dentition. Um, uh, in adult dentition, we have um, six molars in the maxilla, and we have um, six uh, molars in the mandibular, okay? And it is also was specialized for grinding food due to its broad crown, okay? It is broad, so it is specialized for grinding food okay um let see how broad it is broad crown okay so it's like um where food is and the other one from more presses it and grind food so the second um molar tooth is distal both the maxillary what uh, first molars are medial to the maxillary third molars okay it's just like some extra shit so having spoken about the second upper molar tooth, what is the structure that opens near the second upper molar tooth? The structure that opens near the uh, second upper molar tooth is actually the stensis duct, okay? That's the parotid, uh, the duct to the parotid gland, okay? Where um, saliva from the parotid gland actually gets to the mouth. It's through the stensis duct, okay? And so, um, the, um, the second upper molar tooth is important because the stensis duct opens beside it. So, um, the parotid duct or the stensis duct is a salivary duct, and it is a root that salivary takes, okay, from the major salivary gland, that's the parotid gland, okay, and from the parotid gland into the mouth. So, and the stensis duct opens what opposite the second upper molar tooth, okay. So this is it. Um, this is a parotid duct, okay. Also known as the stensis duct. Okay. Now can you trace this arrow? Can you see where it is? On what? The maxilla, okay? And it opens opposite the second upper molar tooth. Okay. So now um the parasit duct is formed when several interlobular ducts, um, the large duct inside uh, the parotid gland join. Okay. So it emerges from the parotid gland, it runs forward along the lateral side of the masseter muscle for like seven seven and centimeter so now in this course the duct is surrounded by the buccal uh, fat pad okay so when i ask this question you don't really need to talk about all these many things all right but it's a lesson so we have to like instead of going straight to the answer we have to like branch 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 okay but what opens opposite the um second upper molar tooth is the stensis okay I hope you guys uh, love the lecture. I right, shall so see you guys in the next uh, and bye for now.